Want to know how to get these social media links on your Google business profile? Google doesn't provide a way for you to add or edit these. So people often ask me, how do you get these on your profile? So I'm going to show you right now how to get them. The number one place that Google looks to make these connections is your website. So make sure that you have the links prominently placed in either the header or the footer. For example, this site is linking to them in the header and the footer. And for good measure, they even put the links in the middle of the page. If you're linking with icons, as most people do, uh, make sure you add the descriptive text to the alt attribute of the image. And you can see an example of that on this site here uh, on their Facebook. It says Duchess Bake Shop on Facebook, Duchess Bake Shop on Instagram. That's coming from the alt attributes. The next thing I suggest is to add local business schema with the same as attribute on the page that your Google business profile is linking to. For most businesses, that's the home page. So schema markup is a little bit technical. I like to use this tool at technicalseo.com to generate the schema. So with this generator, you can just enter uh, your business name, your business information. It also has this really great button where you can just press it. Like after you've entered your address, you can just press that. It'll generate your coordinates and you can see the schema markup showing up here on the side. And so here they have a section for adding the same as markup for the social media profile. So I can click this, go Facebook, enter the URL, add the next one, I'll do YouTube. And you can see them showing up over here. So you can just go through this list and add any of your social profiles. And you can even add social profiles that aren't listed. So if you just go website, I can just put in any URL. So here I'm gonna put uh, my TikTok in there. And yes, TikTok is one of the sites that Google will show on your Google business profile. So once you have this code with all the details that you want in it, you may need to give it to your web developer and ask them to add it to your website. It needs to go into the head section of your homepage's HTML, or you could do it yourself. You could just look up some guides on this, like how to add schema to Wix, how to add schema to WordPress, whatever your content management system is. Another thing you can do and you should do is cross link your social media profiles. A lot of the social sites will let you link to the other social sites. And this is a great way to create those additional connections. So for example, on the white spark Facebook page, I can add all these different social profiles. And so I could add another one here for our TikTok. And in addition to the social profiles, a lot of your citations that are out there will let you add links to your social media channels. And this is pretty common around the citation sites. You can add your social profiles to chamber of commerce, Merchant Circle, Silex, there's dozens out there that'll let you add your links. And it's gonna be important to keep all of your information consistent across all of these different profiles. Make sure you're using the same name, address, phone number, and website URL on your Google business profile, your website, and on all your social profiles. This will really help Google connect the dots. Okay, so now if you've done all of those things, you need to wait. Uh, it can take Google anywhere from a few days up to a few weeks for it to identify these changes and update your Google business profile. There's no way to force it. And speaking of social media, next you're gonna to wanna to watch this video where I show you how to do Google posts the right way and I explain how they are not social media.